Yo, what is going on guys? It's Leddy Yo, welcome to So Serious Gaming and in this video I'm going to be showing you something a little bit different. Now I'm not normally a marksman rifle person, I'm not the best player for that, I prefer to be up front and in your face. But this was something I thought would be interesting, it was a little bit different, it's something I've not seen before and I wanted to make it and see how it worked and it was actually alright. I didn't get many clips to show it in, in action. Um, well that's just because a lot of the time we found ourselves in really close quarter combat um, but if you're the kind of player that likes to snipe I highly recommend um, giving this a try because it is seriously good and with having the six talents on the gun if you get the right talents and you set them up right you can do a lot of damage <clears throat> I mean you'll see you'll see in the clips what I mean but as you can see I've gone relatively balanced, you know, I, I don't like going under 400k toughness, that's just a personal thing for me, I feel, I feel like soggy tissue is the best way I can describe myself, when I go under 400k I literally feel like I get sneezed on and I die, so that's why I stay above that, but as you can see, like, the stats that are rolled are generally typical, you know, on the, on the chest piece is armour, on the holster is armour, on the the mask and the backpack is skill power crit damage on the knee pads and on the gloves I got pretty lucky to an extent I've got marksman damage and crit damage I'm trying to roll health on kill for crit chance but it's not really letting me so I might just leave that for now until I get a 268 pair of gloves because I don't have 268 I currently have 240 so I may just have to kind of chill out and just leave it be for now and wait until I can <clears throat> get a better drop and then invest on on rolling that again because as you can see it's not the best roll but it works for the build it gave me something to use it allowed me to create something and I could test it out on NPCs if depending on the skill power and how things are stacked up I was managing to crit NPCs from anywhere between six and seven hundred thousand up to 950,000 I think I managed to crit for on one of the NPCs um, so it does hit pretty hard now this is you know this is clearly nowhere near min max I mean some of my firearms slash stamina rolls are still in the 600s um, the gloves are 240 you know they're really they're really low in comparison to what a 268 could do so there's a lot of Im there's a lot of room for improvement with this build I mean you could also easily switch out the hunter's faith for for dead eye or a, or a different backpack and savage gloves or whatever it may be that you want to use you know there is versatility there but for me it was all about the the alpha hunter <clears throat> you know that's what I wanted to do so I figured I'd give it a try but it is it is a fun build it is a really fun build to use and if you have the, the right squad composition and you play to the build's advantage so to speak it is seriously effective now you'll see in the clips that are coming up in a second um, when you use it right and your team's done right you're not going to be the one punching people out you're going to be the person that's downing people it's your teammates that are going to have to be the ones that that push up and punch them out and things like that because ideally with this build you're going to be staying back you're going to be pulled back from where the other, the other team are and you're going to be trying to pick them off from a distance and the idea with this is if you have like harmful or toxic or intense or ideally what I want to get is a good combination of the two I would love harmful and intense on the last two talents of both of both marksman rifles because you think about that the bleed and fire they both cause damage they both slow the player down and the fire stops the player from healing so <clears throat> that could be seriously brutal and that's the combination that I ideally want to get and if I could swap out Provident for maybe Fierce, I would prefer that personally, but that's just perfect, uh, personal opinion. Um, but it does, it does hit pretty hard. I mean, you will see, you will see if you watch, the main thing that I'm using these two clips for isn't for how many kills I got or anything like that, but was more to show you how effective it is when you use it the way the role is meant to be played as a marksman rifle you're not meant to be in players faces as you can see there I'm in his face but I'm not gonna waste my ammunition shooting I'm gonna set up on here 
and I'm gonna wait. You know, he's he's out in the distance a little bit. You know, that's that's a better range for me to use the marksman rifle, and you'll see it in a second. When I get the shot on his head, boom, game over. You know, it's a good build. As long as you play the way that the build requires you to play, it is seriously effective. I've managed to crit some players when I've been on like a, a decent smart cover or there's been a decent pulse. I can crit I can crit a player for 75k. With some tweaks, I genuinely do think I could push the crit damage or the crit hits on the headshots up to 100k maybe a little bit lower but I genuinely believe if I can get the right rolls and work the gear right and sort of get it to where I want to take it I honestly do think this could crit a, this could crit a player for 100k easily because if I'm hitting I'm hitting crits on players for 75k and you know it's nowhere near min max I'm still running you know there's 240 items in there there's there's items that are still in the 600s on the firearms and things like that. You know this can hit a hell of a lot harder than it currently does. So, you know, it's, it's worth the time. I enjoyed using it. It's not something I normally use. It kind of it kind of contradicts my play style. I'm an SMG player. I like to run and gun and just hose people down. That's what I enjoy doing. So using this build, it was... It was difficult, I'm not going to lie, it was difficult because every time I would set up, like you'd see there, I, my first instinct is to go running round and start trying to shoot them, so that is exactly what I went to do. And I had to pull back in because I, I kind of realised, well wait, no, if I go and do that I'm screwed because I'm using a marksman rifle, that's just not going to work. So I, I, I had to pull back, but you'll see in a second, the guy on the bus on the right there keeps leaning round. Watch how quick he goes down. Look at that, seven, just under 75k on the crit. Like, and this is, like I said, this could have some serious improvement done to the rolls, the firearm stats and the attributes, all that kind of stuff. It could be massively improved on. This was just literally thrown together with the pieces that I had already. Just just to test out the idea of it, that is all this is for, was like an idea and this was just to piece it together and give it a test run and see if it's viable and I genuinely do think this is a viable setup, especially for those who want a Deadeye build and you can't get Deadeye, go for this, try work on your crit chance as much as possible, have a good strong pulse on your team and you've got, you know, you've got something that can fill in for a, a Deadeye piece or a Deadeye set. That about wraps it up guys, if you enjoyed this video then please hit that thumbs up, it helps us out massively. If you have any ideas, builds you'd like to see, things you'd like to see on the channel, anything like that, drop it in the comments below and let me know and I'll do my best to get on that for you. Have a great day guys, oh, and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe, I nearly forgot about that one. Um, yeah, have a great day guys, I'll catch you in another video, peace out.